Is it possible to be a systematic worshiper on the cheap? Given just enough, just enough to look plausible. You can't pin me down. I'm a Christian. I'm just as in as the next person. But in fact, in that time, a person would go out, and when they were to pick their best lamb, they might notice one that is sick, maybe even going to die. But if I can get that lamb to the altar and slain fast enough that you cannot tell, score, because I was going to lose that lamb anyway. Or if this lamb is crippled, maybe I'll just carry it and just try to hide that crippled leg. Or a blind lamb, that's fantastic because they're going to have all kinds of problems potentially through the course of their life. I can get a blind lamb to the altar. <coughs> and no one will know the better. And then in the midst of this conversation, God says this in verse 10, Oh, that one of you would shut the temple doors so that you would not light useless fires on my altar. I am not pleased with you, says the Lord Almighty, and I will accept no offering from your hand. Is it possible that there might be some weekends that if we were to listen closely, you might hear the voice of God say, could we please not have church today? Because my house has become a den of hypocrites. Uh, trust me, the barrel of this gun is aimed squarely at me. Because I've come to realize it is possible for me, as long as it looks like a lamb, it is possible for me to step up to the pulpit on a Sabbath morning and offer up a blind lamb that nobody can tell is not my very best. And I might be congratulated on the way out the door. Thank you so much, Pastor. We're so glad you're our pastor. That sermon was fantastic. But God knows... And this is the message of Acts 5. God knows, and He's calling us out. For we are surely marching to our grave, just as Ananias and Sapphira did, unchecked, if we think we can give less than our all in trade for the all of Jesus Christ. What a challenge. What a challenge. I must hurry to say that this same God, this Jesus, is perfectly okay with my broken things when they're my best, when I'm not holding back. So you need not, I need not be self-conscious about how well I can perform. I ought, though, hear the footsteps of those carrying out the bodies. That there is one and only one way out of this thing we call our planet Earth. And it is the salvation given by the life and death of Jesus Christ on your behalf, on my behalf. But there is a simple and absolute trade, all for all. That's it. So if you're holding back, do you understand what his all is in comparison to my little all. So, we've been asking, what's your thing? Because this Jesus asks for all of it. Hi, I'm Dave Ferguson. I'm the pastor of the Collegedale Church here on the campus of Southern Adventist University. You know, it seems to me this world is a mess, more than ever. And in the midst of it, the questions that are boiling up, we wonder, does Jesus have anything relevant to say? 
about the problem in my life, the difficulty you're struggling with? I think he does. And I'd like to welcome you to subscribe to this YouTube channel as we explore the relevance of Jesus Christ in the everyday life of you and me. So subscribe, click the button.